morning, everybody. It's the Mobile Home Mama. I'm going to do something a little different today. I know I've been posting a lot of single wides on, so I wanted to get a double in. And the reason I do mostly single wides is because these double wides come off in two pieces and it's kind of raw, right? But there's a couple things in here that I want you guys to see. First of all, I, I've talked about this before, but I want to reiterate that when we do a double, we're going to ship everything that you need to finish off the home in the living room. So for example, here's the siding that's going to go on the ends of the home. Also, you're going to see the trim that is not able to be put up around the perimeter of the openings and along with some plumbing parts the mud to finish off the marriage line and also the foam that goes in between the homes to get a good seal. If you order a storm door, you're gonna see that laying in here as well and along with the shingles that will finish off the roof cap. So that's that. I also wanted to show you guys what it looks like to get finished ceiling joints when you're doing a drywall home. So I think this is an amazing option to add your it just really looks nice and clean and crisp and fresh so also i wanted to show off our new interior doors aren't these cute get a look at those this home is the burkett and i'm gonna pause the video and go over to the other half this is the master bedroom here and just look how clean that looks when you're doing drywall and you don't have any trim hanging out up there just a finished ceiling joint. I think that's the way to go, and I do encourage that when I'm sitting down with customers and we're designing homes. But check out this door. Woo wee, wowzers, I like it. All right, I'm gonna pause the video and go to the other half. Here's a look at the exterior of the home. So notice that you're not gonna see any dormers or anything like that because it starts off flat line. The roof is flat line unless you tell me to add a dormer or we do some designing on the exterior. But we did add lineal lineals in place of shutters there. That's the white trim around the windows. All right, here we are into the kitchen part of the house. I stepped into the back door here. I've got Brittany with me today. I forgot to mention that. Hello. Good morning, Brittany. So we're in the back door coming in through the patio and this is the kitchen of the Burkett. I love this extra large island and especially when you add the legs to it, it just looks really classy. And I imagine one, two, at least three stools comfortably. Looks like we did a full wall of Grigio ceramic backsplash back here. Desert Springs on the countertop. We did the rounded edges. That always is a nice look when you add that. And looks like we also did drawers over doors so everywhere you're going to see a cabinet you're going to see a drawer above it so if you're looking for extra storage that's the way to go we've got 42 inch cabinets all the way to the ceiling balance. yes balance over the window i like when they do that i also like the window cove that looks nice one of the greatest features of the burkett home is this very large pantry so a nice walk-in pantry with shelving everywhere. If you want me to, I can also add some electrical outlets in there. I've done that before. Coming down into the hallway, I have a... I know it. Coming down into the hallway, I have a feeling we're gonna run into a bathroom. Yes, there she is. We added a single medicine cabinet here, three bulb light strip above. And we've got the extended vanity, but check this out, guys. We had desert springs in the kitchen, but we did drama marble in the bathroom. So if you want to switch up the look, we can do that too. Coming into the back door here, six panel back door in a very large utility area. So we've got the washer dryer area, some space beside it for you to add whatever you like. And then this nice big cubby hole here and gives me just enough room if you wanted to do a small hall tree. Water heater, and here's an option we don't see a lot, the water heater door. Most times you guys are gonna see uh, just a panel with hex screws all the way around, but you can actually opt for a real door, which is not a bad idea, I don't think. All right, so this is what we would call the wet half of the Burkett. Let's see if we can find the master bath. All right, here we go. I know whenever I come over here to check a home that whenever they have the plastic pulled back, there's a room behind there. I never know what it is, but looks like we're looking at the master bath. We've got the 60 inch tub shower combination. Lots of elbow room on that commode. I mean, you can really, really um, feel like a wide open area there. 
Coming over here to the vanity, we've got a bank of drawers in the middle. We did trimmed out mirrors above with three bulb light strips above that. So nice and classy. Notice we've got the drama marble on the countertop, so they kept the bathrooms the same. And behind this door, we're gonna see a big linen pantry. And folks, last but not least, here we're, oh, not a linen pantry. Yes, that was a linen pantry. This is the master closet. It, it's always kind of tough to know what I'm looking at when I'm just kind of popping in and out. And I've decided that on some videos that I'll be doing next, I'm gonna call those popcorn videos where I'm just gonna roll up to a home and pop inside of it. And it'll be kind of a surprise for everybody. And I think that's gonna be something that's really neat for you to watch. This is the Burkett, ladies and gentlemen. Three bedrooms, two bath. Thanks for watching.